Let's now talk about symmetric properties of root of a quadratic equation. Now, recall the general form of a quadratic equation. ax squared plus bx plus c equal to what? Zero. You know that when a quadratic equation is solved, two roots, that is two values for x, will be obtained. So if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation, this equation now, then alpha plus beta is equal to minus b all over a. Also, alpha times beta is equal to c all over a. This is b, this is a, this is c. Alpha plus beta is equal to minus b over a, and alpha beta is c over a. There is actually a proof for this, but we are not going to talk about that in this video. Let's just apply it to solve problems. So the question I have here says, if alpha and beta are the roots of the equation 2x squared minus 7x minus 3 equal to 0, we have to find the values of alpha plus beta, alpha beta, alpha squared plus beta squared, 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta, alpha over alpha plus 1 plus beta over beta plus 1. Solution. Now, the equation we are given is 2x squared minus 7x minus 3, where a is equal to 2, b is equal to minus 7, c is equal to minus 3. Okay, let me put that down. a is 2, b is minus 7, c is minus 3. So, if alpha and beta are the roots of this very equation, it means that alpha plus beta is equal to minus b all over a, which is simply minus, what's b? Minus 7. All over, what's a? 2. Minus minus is plus, and that's 7 all over 2. So alpha plus beta is 7 over 2. If alpha and beta are the roots of this equation, alpha times beta is simply c all over a. And what is c? Minus 3. And what's a? 2. It's as simple as this. The third one says alpha squared plus what? Beta squared. The individual values of alpha and beta are not known here. So we can't just say a value for alpha and a value for beta. But this is the sum of two squares, alpha squared plus beta squared. And the algebraic identity for the sum of two squares says alpha squared plus beta squared is equal to alpha plus beta all squared minus 2 alpha beta. This identity is actually equal to this. If you expand this now, you have alpha squared plus 2 alpha beta plus beta squared. That 2 alpha beta here, we cancel this 2 alpha beta, leaving us with alpha squared plus beta squared. And that's what we have here. So you must be familiar with some algebraic identities, like the sum of two squares, the sum of two cubes to be able to evaluate some expressions like this. I hope you get the point. So, you can see now that we are having alpha plus beta, alpha beta. Already, we have alpha plus beta, which is 7 over 2, alpha beta, which is what? Minus 3 over 2. So, what we have to do now is, in place of alpha plus beta, I'm writing this. In place of alpha beta, I'm writing this. It's as simple as this. Alpha plus beta, 7 over 2. 7 over 2 all squared minus 2 times what's alpha beta minus 3 over 2 minus 3 all over 2. First of all, this 2 we cancel this 2. Okay, minus minus is a plus, and so we have this 
7 squared is 49. 2 squared is 4. Minus minus is plus. And what's left? 3. So by the LCM approach, this will reduce to 49 plus 12 all over 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 49 plus 12 is 61. And 61 over 4 is alpha squared plus beta squared. So let's evaluate the fourth one. 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. Take note of this alpha plus beta and alpha beta. Let's simplify this first of all. By LCM approach, the LCM is alpha beta. Alpha beta divided by alpha is beta. Beta times 1 is what? Beta. Alpha beta divided by beta is alpha. Alpha times 1 is alpha. You will agree with me that beta plus alpha is the same thing as saying alpha plus beta. Addition is commutative. So beta plus alpha, alpha plus beta, they are the same. What can you see now? Alpha plus beta has appeared here. The same. Alpha beta also appeared. We just have to plug in 7 over 2 for alpha plus beta and minus 3 over 2 for alpha beta. 7 all over 2 divided by alpha beta, which is what? Minus 3 over 2. Minus 3 all over 2. Let's simplify this. 7 over 2 divided by what? Minus 3 all over 2. That's what this means. This is 7 over 2. The division will turn to multiplication. And then the reciprocal of this expression will be taken. 2 all over 3. 2 here is 1. 2 here is 1. This is minus 1. All right? 7 times minus 1 is minus 7. And what's left here? 3. This is 1. 1 times 3 is 3. So this is our 1 over alpha plus 1 over beta. Let's evaluate the last one. Alpha over alpha plus 1 plus beta over beta plus 1. Let's simplify. The LCM of this denominator is their product. Alpha plus 1 times beta plus 1. Okay. The product, alpha plus 1 times beta plus 1, divided by alpha plus 1, what's left is beta plus 1. Times alpha, it will now be alpha times beta plus 1. Then, the same denominator divided by beta plus 1, what's left? Alpha plus 1. Times beta, it will now be plus beta bracket alpha plus 1. Okay, let's simplify it further. We have alpha times beta is alpha beta plus alpha times 1 is alpha plus beta times alpha is alpha beta plus beta times 1 is beta all over. Let's expand this now. Alpha times beta is what? Alpha beta. Alpha times 1 is alpha. 1 times beta is beta. 1 times 1 is 1. All right? Alpha beta plus alpha beta is 2 alpha beta. And what's left? Alpha plus beta. Can you see now that alpha beta and alpha plus beta have appeared here? So this entire numerator simplifies to this. Plus, I'm putting this in brackets for a reason. And so what we have here says, Alpha beta plus, I want to group alpha plus beta because there's a single value for alpha plus beta, okay? Plus one. Don't forget that our alpha plus beta is um, seven over two and alpha beta is what? Minus three all over two. We're going to make use of it here. Let's evaluate this. Alpha beta is minus 3 over 2. So this is equal to 2 times minus 3 all over 2. That's in place of alpha beta now. Plus alpha plus beta is what? 7 over 2. 
I grouped it because there is a single value for it. Alright? So in place of this, now I'm writing 7 over 2. Then all divided by was alpha beta minus 3 over 2 plus was alpha plus beta 7 over 2 plus 1. So let's simplify this now. 2 can cancel to what we have now says minus 3 plus 7 all over 2 all over minus 3 over 2 plus 7 over 2 plus 1. Let's simplify this numerator. The LCM is 2, so this is 2. We have 2 times minus 3 is minus 6 all over the LCM here is still 2. Okay, so this is minus 3 plus 7 plus 2. 2 divided by 1 is 2. 2 times 1 is 2. We have minus 6 plus 7 is 1. Minus 3 plus 7 is 7 minus 3, which is 4. 4 plus 2 is 6. Six divided by two is what? Three. Half divided by three. This is division sign. So what is this equal to? Half times one all over three. This is actually three over one. So if I turn this to multiplication, I will invert this number. One times one is one. 2 times 3 is 6. As far as that equation is concerned, the entire value of this is equal to 1 over 6. That's what we got. I hope you enjoyed the video. Keep supporting by subscribing, like and share to your friends and your classmates. I'll see you in the next one.